In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pre-process your imagery for photogrammetry after you've gone and taken your pictures. So in this series of images, you can see I've tried to, the best I can, uh, it is in the middle of uh, summer, and it's really hard to find a nice diffused area to take uh, photographs without a custom um, lighting contro uh, controlled environment. Uh, so I went and found a nice little shady area underneath the tree and I tried to do the best I can to photograph this object. Again, best lighting conditions uh, if you're going to shoot outside and again, cheap and you know you don't have to get into an expensive lighting condition is cloudy days. If you could find some nice cloudy days where you can get some nice diffused lighting, you're going to get some better results in your uh, shots for photogrammetry because it really want to find flat lighting is always what you want to achieve but if you don't and you're in a hurry um, try to find a nice shady area with not too many objects around it and it, you you'll get some you'll be able to pull it off so in this uh, example you can see I've put uh, I've got a box and I've gotten I've shot in complete 360s all the way around it I've done the bottom and the top here from multiple angles and now we just need to get these images processed and ready for photo scan now typically uh, I should all, shot all these in raw and now I, I want to again I get a little bit more control about the processing and the values I have in there and then I'm going to reconvert them to JPEG and drop those into uh, Agisoft. But I do want to lighten up the 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 blacks or the shadows, and also uh, turn down the highlights, so I can get the images to look a little bit flatter, which is going to give us a little bit better results, uh, especially when it comes to the texturing process. So we're going to use a program. Uh, you can use Lightroom; uh, it allows you to multi. Uh, process multiple images all at once but Lightroom is a little is expensive and you have to pay for it a monthly fee uh, so we're gonna use raw therapy and again it's a free version uh, but it's very similar to Lightroom where we can process hundreds of raw photos very quickly uh, without opening it like, like can you imagine opening 200 images inside of Photoshop and trying to edit each one it just takes too much time so raw therapy Lightroom those programs allow uh, professional photographers to go through images very very quickly uh, without the the bog of opening every single image one at a time so you can go to raw therapy go to downloads download the latest version and I've gone and I put them in a folder and I've gone through and so this is raw therapy uh, over here is the all the metadata information about the photos over here is the hard drives uh, on your local machine and the folders so I've gone through this folder structure and found my directory where all my images are and you can see all, all of them popping up and then I'm going uh, and again I'm in the file file browser for this so I just got a Go in the file browser, find where they are, um, and then I'm going to click on one, and then I'm going to go to editor, and then that's going to load all those images in that directory along the top, and I'll click on the first one here, and it's eventually going to pop in here. Uh, it is being a little double click, a little slow. There it goes. So we've gone in, and you can see on the right hand side we've got a few controls and we're mostly going to reside right in the exposure parameters and what we're going to do is we're going to the highlight compression and we're going to kind of increase that so we're going to try to bring some information back in the highlights the best we can then we're going to go to blacks and we're going to try to neutralize those blacks a little bit. So we'll do that. And then the uh, exposure compensation, normally I like to do that after the highlights and the blacks, is just kind of 
you can make it darker or lighter in general across the whole image. I'm going to uh, tweak with that. Uh, if you want to bring down the saturation a little bit, you can. If you think it's too strong, you can just bring that down a little bit. And then, yeah. And if you want a little bit less contrast, you can bring this down too. And that will help neutralize the image a little bit. So, again, each set of images are going to be um, different on the settings. You kind of have to play around with uh, what works for you and the images you took. But again, trying to neutralize the image at best, playing with the highlights and the blacks, a little bit of the contrast, saturation, and exposure compensation should get you something to where you're trying to get it very neutral. Now, the thing about this is, can you imagine trying to do that for all your images in your uh, photo shoot? It takes too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the settings we have here and then we're going to paste them on to the other ones. So I'm going to come up to the top here and there's this little clipboard right here and it says control click to copy to the clipboard. So I'm select, hit uh, control and I clicked it and I'm going to copy all the parameters. I can do copy everything or I can just do basic settings because I just did the basic settings here. I just clicked that on, selected all those, I hit OK. Now I want to apply it to all the images of the bottom of my subject. So I'm going to select the first one, hold shift, go to the end of this little photo session where I go straight to the bottom. So here's I start photographing from the top. I'm going to hold shift, select all those. Then I'm going to right click. And then when I right click on the selected images, I'm going to go to processing profile operations and I'm going to paste it. And again, this takes a little bit of time, but boom, there it goes. It's going through, and it just processed all those images with those settings, as you can see. Perfect. Uh, to do that one more time, let's do it for the top here. And let's just see what that looks like. I'm going to paste again. Let's see what that looks like on this image. Actually, you know what? Looks pretty good. I think I'll try it here. Let's uh, I'll select this next one here and I'll go through till I feel like eh, right about here starts the exposure starts to change a little bit. So I'm gonna go right here. I'll make sure I select shift and right there eh, it's being a little bit of a booger today all right got them all selected right click and then I'm gonna paste those in it's gonna change all those and go to the last one there right there let's see how this one looks there we are and this one I'm gonna have to play with this one Bring this one up, bring the blacks down. And then let's drop the contrast a little bit. There we go. Let's uh let's take that one. Control copy it. Everything to basic settings and then I'm going to apply it to the rest, right click, and paste. So that just goes right through, and it's all done. Now you've processed them. Now what I want to do is I want to go through these, select one of the images at the top, hit Control A. That selects all of them. And then anywhere of the all the selected ones, right click, 
on it and say put into query and it's gonna basically get these all ready for a batch file uh, export and right in the middle here's query and you can see 192 of them and there you go and what you want to do is you want to find a folder where you want to send it so you're going to save to folder click on it and go to other in here go to desktop and I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna make a new folder I'm gonna call it J pegs in here I'm gonna select that folder it's got selected I'm gonna make sure file format is set to JPEG image quality it's gonna be hundred percent pretty much everything else is gonna look good and once you've got hit control A select them all make sure you have them all selected and then hit the play button and it's gonna go through and start processing those images for you so let's see if I can find that and I'll find JPEGs and there they are and what it's gonna do it's gonna make the image and then it's gonna make these this little um, file right next to it you can ignore those or you can delete those just real easy by going to view and going to details and then hitting type and right now you can see it's organizing by type and you can just I'll just double click it again so I all these files once it's all processed you can just select all these up right here and just delete them you only need the JPEGs so you don't need to give yourself extra data okay once you've done all that and you've got your images all ready to go um, you're ready to bring this into Agisoft to start uh, aligning your photos I'll see you guys in the next video